Hi guys, in this video we'll look at um, lists in PowerShell. So I just created a list using a variable which is um, which I'm calling my list and then you just have to enter comma separated values. I've deliberately left some duplicates there. There's three fives and two twos in there. If you pause the video and have a look. Now if I want to print this list, I go my list. It prints every element in its, in its own line, right? Now if I want to sort this list, I just go sort object and it sorts the list. And if I say get unique, it brings me unique values. So it's taken out um, the, the duplicate fives and twos. You could also do grouping. So I've got a sorted list. Well, I don't even really have to sort it, right? I can just say group object, right? And then uh, let's take a moment here. So it groups each value so all the duplicates are grouped together and it maintains the number of duplicates in a column of its own called count and then uh, gives the name of the element as the name of that group it's very easy to read this um, so if I don't even if I don't have this column I can just go okay there's two twos one four three fives and 165 134 145 and 188 so everywhere you got one it's got one element of that that with that number and where there's multiples you got you, know, you got a few of those numbers so and you could construct with your in your own head you could construct the whole list right in, in your head if you like now I don't have to have a list of just imaginary numbers I can have a list of objects so I could just say proc1 equals and um, I'll use a function to get process right and I want to select object, right, with a property. So I want to select by property name, right? If I print proc1, so it's got the names of all the processes that I have running at the moment. So yeah, that's, and each, each name here is an object, right? So if I do start process ms paint, it's going to start a paint on my computer. I'm then going to do right proc2. And now that I have a couple of lists, I can compare object, right? I can compare object and I can say my reference object is dollar proc1 and my difference object is dollar proc2 interesting it says there's no difference if I do dollar proc2 I should find MS paint and if I go back up to where I printed dollar proc1 and there is no MS paint so compare object just went belly up for some reason let me try that again compare object reference object proc1 different object proc2 so something is wrong with that and um, I will investigate that later but that's how you use compare object um, in general uh, to compare to lists or to compare to any PowerShell object which could be process, services, it could be anything right? Uh, or, or even files to be precise so now let me get alright so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all the images as using the get child atom commandlet now if I print images it's gonna have two two objects so that's where I printed and these are the two objects right I could also do dollar images and this gives me like a table like view but if I wanna do uh, if I wanna format this I can say format list this is a list so I'm gonna say format list input object is my dollar images and this gives me a list like view so this is where I printed it and that's object number one it gives you a list like uh, view and this is the object number two right I could also do get process and format list and that'll return every process in a list format uh, if I don't include the FL it's gonna print as a table Right. We can change what columns are visible and what columns are not. Uh, we'll explore that a little later in the lesson. I could also format wide if I like. Yeah, let me come up with something. 
So this command will print the images object in format wide. So it's got one object and second object, just the objects, and it printed them in, in a wide format. And I could also go in and change or use the property method and I can use the property to size them. Let's say length. So because the length of both these, um, they're, they're just empty images that I've created in one of the first lessons. So if one of the images was bigger, uh, it would, let me, let me make that happen now. Just give me one moment. All right, so I've gone ahead and filled color in them. I'll probably have to refresh the list. So let me make images again. And now if I do this command, right, property length. Now, uh, see this one's for 241 megs and this is 588 megs, right? And it's formatted them, or, or it's only showing the length of the file. Right, again, we can see which file is which. If I remove the property length and add the S, so that's 2.jpg is uh, 588 megs, right? Or actually, it's uh, 0.5 megs and 0.24 megs. This video has gotten longer, so um, let's end here and we'll continue in the next one. You are awesome. Now, to get your daily dosage of IT programming and automation, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Spread the word using the share button.